इंजन दे गए द लॉर्ड ऑफ द सीज फाइट्स फ्रॉम द वॉटर्स स्ट्राइक्स फ्रॉम द एयर द इंजन दे गए अ फोर्स सुप्रीम ऑन वॉटर superior in air It's just 6 decades since the first sea land shorts amphibian flew into Garuda the first naval air station at Cochin marking the foundation of our fleet era with the induction of india's first aircraft carrier ins vikram a strong foundation has been laid its first combat complement seahawks and elise made vikram a formidable fighting platform naval aviation was growing a young force raring to go soon to be blooded The Seahawks and the Alize flew several critical missions during the 1961 Goa liberation and for the tight defense of naval assets in the 1965 operations. 4th December 1971. Their route on enemy installations, Seahawks and Alize unleashed their rout on enemy installations and ships in the East Pakistan harbors. At Chittagong, Cox's Bazar, Khulna and Mungla, the Navy's carrier bomb strike force proved pivotal in the glorious victory in 71. induction of its second aircraft carrier INS Virat with its sea harriers and the multi-role sea king 42 Bravos provided the much needed punch building towards a blue water navy the fleet air arm is integral to the fighting ships its rotary wing progressed from operating single engine alouettes to inducting the submarine killers the Kamov 25s and 28s and the Sea King 42 Bravos Kamov 31s the eyes and the sky bridged the gap in air early warning capabilities of the fleet at sea the indigenous advanced light helicopter and the UH3H have become key enablers for ship-borne special operations. Guarding a 7500 km long coastline calls for great reach and great endurance. The induction of super constellations marked the beginning of maritime reconnaissance. soon replaced by the IL-38s and TU-142Ms the Indian Navy could now maintain vigil at extended ranges in our areas of interest the Dorniers specialized in information warfare boosting the short-range maritime reconnaissance and electronic warfare capabilities Searcher and Heron UAVs, remote operated at extended ranges without the disadvantage of human fatigue. These force multipliers have significantly enhanced the lethality of Navy's fleet operations at sea. The Naval Air Arm is competent 
capable and central to naval operations at sea. Operating fighters from aircraft carriers, helicopters from ships, long-range maritime reconnaissance and UAVs from ashore. Naval aviation has grown to the size of a respectable air force. Having proved its mettle in battle and in other various operations, naval aviation stands resolute in facing challenges of the future. Joint operations and exercises with friendly navies, building bridges of friendship, showcasing its prowess, indicating its presence. Not just in combat, naval aviation is at the forefront of humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. Be it search and rescue, or anti-piracy operations, the naval air arm meets the challenge head on. Training is the bedrock of successful operations. The Hawk 132, a fourth generation advanced jet trainer, trains the fighter pilot to be mission ready. Today, the fleet air arm is on a threshold of transformation with the Indian Navy operating the Sea Harriers and the MiG-29K aircraft from its two operational aircraft carriers, the Virat and the Vikramaditya, the Kamo 31 AW helicopters and the recently acquired P-8I long-range maritime patrol and ASW aircraft. The planned induction of the light combat aircraft the medium-range reconnaissance aircraft and the multi-role helicopters will catapult naval aviation into the future. State-of-the-art P-8I long-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft covers the expanse of the Gulf of Aden to the Straits of Malacca. A platform with deadly anti-ship missiles and torpedoes, providing credible deterrence. India's largest aircraft carrier, INS Vikramaditya, rules the waters of the subcontinent. The carrier air wing sharpens the Indian Navy's combat edge. As I reflect on the past and gaze into the future of naval aviation, I am confident that each time an aircraft takes off from the deck of a ship or from an air station into the blue skies over the blue oceans, it will not only accomplish its mission with alacrity, but also provide safe and secure seas for national prosperity in the 21st century. Nine air stations, two carriers, two hundred and twenty aircraft, and five thousand men strong, ever growing with future ready projects. All said to protect the country's interests. A professional arm that is both the tip of the spear and the edge of the sword. Bold in action. Awesome in power.